Hi guys, hello and welcome to another tutorial where we will learn how you can install JavaFX on New Eclipse. Earlier on, I provided you with the solution of how you can download and install JavaFX in the older versions of Eclipse. The, the video was extremely popular among you guys and a lot of you requested me that how can we do this on the newer version of Eclipse and that's exactly what I would like to demonstrate to you and all the sites where where I will go and download the extra files I will share the links of those places with you in the video description so first of all let me show you what happens when the JavaFX is not installed when you click create a Java project and let me call this one my JavaFX project 1 and right now I have installed Java 20 uh, Eclipse 2020 uh, hyphen 12 version and I installed the latest version of Java which is Java Standard Edition 15 and uh, as you can see right over here as soon as I click next here it asks me to um, set up the other things which I'm ignoring at this point and I'm hitting finish so it right away asks me would you like to create a module based solution I'm not interested in that so I'll click don't create one however now I will start to create my very first class which will be my Java FX class one for which it needs to be a child of the application class which comes from Java FX as you can see it doesn't even understand what Java FX is so after going through the set of steps a series of steps uh, you will be able to set up your Eclipse environment to work with Java FX so we're gonna come back to this screen so what you need to do first is you need to go to this website. Uh, I'll provide you the link of this site in the description. And based on your operating system, you got to download the zip file. So I'm downloading the zip file for my Windows operating system. It's a Windows uh, SDK software development kit. So I click download. It will download the zip file to the local computer. All you need to do is after that you unzip it. Once its download is completed, you simply right click on it and you extract all. And we will be needing this. Um, so it's very important that you keep a note of this location and do not delete this. If you think that you will be deleting stuff from your downloads folder, then move it to a better folder. What we'll be needing from the downloads folder is uh, if you open it, there is a lib folder, L-I-B folder. And if you double click on the lib folder, that's where all your JavaFX jar files are. Then these jar files are required or needed in the um, Eclipse. Okay, so I'll, I'm basically minimizing this window and the website for now. And let's set up this project at the Eclipse level. So to get that done, you will click the Windows menu. And in the Windows menu, you will gonna go under Preferences. This is your project preferences, and uh, the, um, the Eclipse preferences, and that's where you will find Java as one of the items listed. If you open Java, you will find in the list of items, Java build path and all of the other items are listed here. And that's where you will going to under Java build path, you will find an item called user libraries. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a new user library and I will be bringing all these jar files into this user library. So after that, anytime I create a new Java project, I will be bringing in this user library into that project. So I will have access to all the, all the jar files. So it's like you created once and then you can use it a million times. So what we will be doing under user libraries is we'll be clicking new. So it's always a good idea to name your library after the version of Java. So I will be calling mine Java FX 15 and I will click OK. Once I do that, I need to be bringing in those external jars here. So I'll click add external jar and this is the folder. Uh, the library folder remember I showed you you that's under your downloads folder let me show it again under my downloads folder I have this uh, JavaFX SDK which has this lib so I will select by pressing by clicking on the first file and pressing and holding the shift key and then click on the last file all of these jar files I'll open and they will be added to my user libraries and all you need to do is just apply and close 
So your first step is done, which basically has added all of these jar files to your project. Okay, so now we will be creating a new Java project and we will include the user library, which has all the jar files so that we can work with JavaFX. We will now click on create a Java project and we will name this Java project. Let's I'll call this one test FX one and I'll hit the next button. And now you have to be careful here by clicking the libraries tab and you got to make sure that you click the class path. Because if you don't click the class path, it won't be able to add the library to the correct class path. So you have to be make sure that you you have to make sure that you click the class path, and then you click on add library, and then you choose user library and hit next. And this will it will automatically list all the user libraries available to Eclipse. So you check the one that you have created, and then you hit finish, and automatically it will be added to the list. And you can confirm that. And now you hit finish. It will ask you, would you like to create a module? Say, don't, no, I don't want to create any modules. And here you have your environment set up to understand the JavaFX package. Let's test this. So I'll right click on the source and I'll click new and I'll click class. And here I have my hello world app. And I will click browse and I will type Java fx and as you can see it automatically understand the java fx projects so if i type java fx dot application it understands java fx dot application and it automatically brings the application class from that packet so it does understand all of that stuff so if i hit finish it automatically builds my basic class structure. Now let me create my very first Hello World program. I've given you a lot of JavaFX application examples before, so you can check the tutorial how to build JavaFX application. I'll just bring in a source code here and dump it so that we can test it. And I'll sh walk you through some other steps because it will still give you one error that needs to be fixed. Now that we have our Java code here, now let's test the Java code. So now let's test this Java application. So we will click the arrow and run as Java application. And this is a common error that you will see because we are still missing one basic component which I will uh, tell you uh, where to put. And this is something for which you will need the location of your LIB folder. Remember the one that we downloaded from the internet? And then we already used it in creating the user library. We're going to be needing that again to be added to the run path. So if you remember, this was the location. If you remember, this was the location where we put all these items, right? So we will be once again needing this path. I will, I will share with you the whole syntax in the description, but make sure you replace the correct component with your path. So now what you need to do is under the run menu, you click on run configurations. And under the run configuration, it will show you the couple of configurations that you have, the hello world and the new configuration. Whichever configuration you want to pick, it's up to you. You simply click on the arguments and under the VM arguments, you will go in, I'm just showing you the basic structure. I will be changing a few things here just to show you that where it says slash path slash to slash fx now this first portion is basically coming directly from your computer so for example in my on my computer if you see my path before the fx the whole path is this guy which is c colon slash user slash sod y slash downloads this whole thing which is prior to going as far as the library folder if 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 you feel comfortable grabbing all the way to library folder be my guest simply click here copy that and replace whatever is in the double quotes with your path if your path is longer this may go to the next line don't worry about it it just simply hit apply and then click run 
and this will run your JavaFX application. So those are a couple of things that you have to do for th you to work with your um, applications. And I will be providing you both of those items in the description, so make sure you follow the directions and uh, complete this task. Wish you all the best. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Till the next video, bye-bye.